Howdy, it's March 1st, 2021, Casimir Pulaski Day. A holiday for some reason, only celebrating Chicago and the suburbs. Oh, we'll see. Oh well. It's also World Compliments Day, so I just want to tell you that I'm so glad you're here, and you must have impeccable taste to have been watching this channel, and maybe subscribing to it, and doing some likes, and maybe telling all your coolest friends about it, so they can also be as cool as you are. Thanks. Today's top story is avoiding talking about Donald Trump at CPAC. Basically, we're going to ignore the entire CPAC weekend. Freedom! However, the stage at DC CPAC did raise a couple eyebrows and Nazi salutes as its runic shape was used by the Germans in World War II. Could it be a coincidence? Like the references to 1488 in several press releases during Trump's tenure? Like the okay signal co-opting? Like the freshman GOP loving Hitler's summer home? Like good people on both sides? Yep. And bad people on both sides news. Joe Biden said there don't be any consequences as to, to Jamal Khashoggi, a U.S. resident, getting killed as authorized by the Saudi crown prince. In Biden's defense, oil. The president and many Senate Democrats are retreating on the $15 an hour minimum wage. Critics say that the $15 an hour minimum wage is too high and might encourage people to realize their life is more than just the endless pursuit of fixing whatever happened last week and preparing for whatever's going to go wrong next week. Or, as they say, inflation. Even if one agrees with the Senate parliamentarian, there's no reason why this couldn't be brought up as a separate bill, except, well, there's a fucking filibuster, which is, I guess, better than the original Constitution. Also in Constitution news, the Supreme Court issued a final fatal blow in Sidney Powell's numerous election fraud-related lawsuits, declining to make any action at all. It's hard to believe that the Kraken was slain by Brett Kavanaugh. In, oh, in some countries you can hold presidents to account news, former French President Nicolas Sarkozy was sentenced to home confinement in a case that involved wiretapping and promises for prestigious positions after getting some information about another scandal. So don't get too excited. As I said, the former president was sentenced to home confinement, which means he gets to stay in this place. Nice if you can get it. So today we want to introduce a new sponsor, Houseplant.com. Seth Rogen's new company doesn't know they're sponsoring us, so in order for us to get paid, you'll need to go to patreon.com slash genderbet and let me know that I sent you. Thanks, Seth. Johnson & Johnson announced plans to ship 4 million COVID vaccines, which may seem like a lot, but it doesn't cover quite all the Johnsons and the Smiths in the United States. There's a lot of them. In Florida news, a golfer drowned after looking for a lost ball in the pond. There's still no word whether or not he has found it. In environmental news, a big iceberg, bigger than New York City, broke off Antarctica. In an interview... The iceberg said that winter was coming to the southern hemisphere and it was going to get too fucking cold. So, as things went back to normal, the pandemic and all, it wanted to go up north and meet some of its friends, especially since all the other icebergs up north are going extinct. And finally, in science news, most life will be dead soon. By then, I mean a billion years. Oxygen will likely drop and kill off life that needs oxygen. The police are looking for a suspect, an 865,000 mile wide ball of hot plasma. If you see it, do not confront the ball of plasma, but contact your local astrophysicist. So that's the news of Jen. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give us a like and a subscribe, and I'm supposed to encourage that little bell thingy too? I guess that's a call to, a call to action in this business. I haven't had much luck getting subscribers in the past two months, so please, every little bit helps. Thank you so much. So please... Thank you again, and remember, I love you.